Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my Thor. Wow. Oh my Thor. Well, Jeff just helped Cash bust that out. And um, we just found some species that we have never seen before here. Look at the eye stalks on it. Hello, everybody. I'm Dustin. And in today's video, we are going to travel from Missouri to Grafton, Illinois, through the literal fog and the fog of deep time to collect Silurian age trilobite fossils with my friend Jeff over at Hunting Rocks channel and my expert fossil spotter son, Cash. Come along with us. Out here today in Grafton, Illinois, it is a foggy day. Out here with my hunting guide, Jeff, Hunting Rocks. And we're gonna check out a geode wall here. We're gonna look for some trilobites today. But Jeff tells me he has a cool wall to show us. I think this granite here is um, from uh, elephant rocks. Look at all those geodes. And you were saying there used to be more to this wall, but it washed away in 93 in the big flood. Yeah. Yeah, 93 took out most of it. This is all that's left of it. It's but cool. This used to go, like I said, pretty much around this area. There was a house here. But yeah, it was it was all super nice geodes like this one. That's so cool. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's cool. Dude, and you said geode wall. I didn't know you meant this. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, there's some good ones in here. Oh, yeah. Check that out. And they get all different bigger sizes and smaller ones. Cool. Just got a chunky calcite piece in there next to this other geode. Ooh, that one's cool. Some Chalcedony coating on the crystals. Yep, this is uh this is a big chunk of uh the slag glass, like I find off of uh, wow, that's a glass huge island. Oh, ah, cool. Mm -hmm. God. I mean, I'm in between episode one and episode two. <clears throat> oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, you're going to want to get the video with this guy. Yeah, yeah hey, Dad. You want to get some video of this? Oh, that yeah, guy. that's that cool. Guy, that guy. There's a couple cool ones here. This is so cool. This area isn't really known for geodes, but there are a ton of them here, y'all. Just saying. That creek that we were in a while back was not far from here. I think that's where most of these geodes came from. All right, check this geode out. This is really cool. This is uh, something called pseudo-cubic quartz, and I've only seen it form inside of geodes, and it forms when um, the chalcedony covers the crystals, and I think it's like this magical temperature zone where it makes this weird form like in between a quartz crystal and chalcedony, and the crystals, as you can see, are kind of cube shaped and that is quartz that's not calcite or anything you can see over here you have some of the more typical quartz crystals it's very interesting just wanted to show that off uh, all right let's go find some or find some trilobites or something yeah. <laughs> So that rock wall was pretty cool. I think most of those geodes came locally. We found a bunch in a creek near here just a couple videos back, so check that out if you haven't yet. And let's head on to find some trilobite fossils. All right, foggiest morning ever out here. Look at this. I hope we can spot some trilobites today because, yeah, normally there's a uh, river over there. The Mississippi River, in fact. All right, still out here. I just noticed something. I gotta show you this. 
random sock. All right, it's gonna be a good day because I found a random sock, which I always find random socks. All right, <laughs> let's do this. I'm gonna follow Jeff, my hunting guide. He tells us that he has a new spot for trilobites that he's found. We're gonna go check it out. Well, Jeff found some photographers and he's gonna show off one of his trilobites he found here. But uh, look what they were filming. There's a screech owl up in that tree. How cool is that? Let's see if I can get closer to him, but I don't know. So it turns out that that screech owl might actually be famous. I sent this picture to my friend Kyron who was with us in the same video that we found the geodes that I was talking about earlier. And she sent me this picture from the same tree. So we're in Grafton, Illinois, right behind the visitor center here. I don't think you can collect any of the rocks here, but I want to show you this. Check out this. There's a lot of cool worn coral fossils in here. I think these are like uh, trace fossils of burrows, like some critter dug a hole and that filled in with mud and then that fossilized there's uh i think there's a crinoid there a bunch of interesting little horn coral sections it's a good one back here that's cool that's a cool rock looks pretty foreboding I'm gonna travel this path to find the ancient foggy Silurian trilobites. What a cool little area. This is an area that Jeff's explored, but I have not explored it yet. We've uh, looked around before in this area and found some cool trilobite fossils. So I'm looking forward to exploring this area. This is really cool back here, man. I yeah, like this. I like this area. Interesting. A lot of quarrying here back in the day. Where do we get up around to the top? It gets kind of gets kind of crazy. Cool. All right, well, we just walked up the hill, and Jeff took that hammer and literally did one whack here, no, and apparently there's already whack. something cool. Oh, it was already there? Yeah. I oh, yeah, we got some... Got some imprints. All right, we're in trilobite territory, folks. So I think this may be the rock. And so I was able to bust this chunk off of that rock. I don't think I got a very good break, but you can see there is a trilobite in there. Let's see what Jeff's doing over here. Working on something. What you got? Well, this is one. And sadly, let me get my water out and see if I can clean it up a little. Mm. This right here is a pretty weathered out one. Ah. Uh. But there is a trilobite there. And as you can see, guys, the way this rock is, when it weathers out, it uh, uh. it almost goes smooth. I might be able to clean that with a toothbrush yeah, if okay. I can get you it out. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Yeah, I don't know. I think we should bust some rocks. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's, I'm going to just... bust along through this rock here. I found a couple out of it, and this is actually its a bigger rock than you think it is. It goes down pretty far. But uh, I'm going to bust on this a little bit. But anywhere where you've got this yellowish rock along the side there, yeah, it's either the joliet formation limestone or it could very well be kankakee i think where we're at here it's probably joliet where we're at at the bottom is probably kankakee which you can tell by the the uh gray layer of uh clay which is mostly just fish poop yep. you guys have seen in dustin's videos yes the good old glockenite yes sir i don't know i might check out oh somebody was working on some stuff here <laughs> that somebody would be me oh okay that's jeff's spot <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I see some other stuff up here. I don't know. Hmm. What looks promising? Cool little area up here. 
All right, I think I might go and get some of my tools and check out some of those rocks down there. Look what I found. All right, Cash found one. Oh, <laughs> sweet action. Right? Nice. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, I checked that spot down the hill. I didn't find anything. Whoa. Dude, the master, Trilobite master. Yeah. All right, well, this is the rock that Cash was working on. And we found the imprint piece and he just pulled this out we are not positive but i think we have a cephalopod here so that's a pretty sweet find i gotta get on it good job cash all right cash thinks he found more stuff i just had my first find hopefully i can bust it out i think that's a good one there let's see what cash found Dude, yeah, that's a nice cephalopod, bro. Look, look, it's a section. Piece right. of a cephalopod. Yeah, oh. okay. That might be. I'm yep, not there's sure. another little section of that yeah, cephalopod. Yeah, the rest of it. It goes back into this way. And then you're going to lose it up in this clay layer. Okay, so this is the uh, Kaskaskia formation. Or Kankakee formation. What should I say? Kaskaskia. Where is it at? Uh, the trilobite? Yeah. Right up there. It's just a nose sticking out. It's a little bitty guy, but... Oh man, I don't even see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Ooh, man. Yeah, that's in there. Well, I got shell and crown right here. All right. I didn't get quite the break I was hoping for, but yeah, check that guy out. Not bad. Pretty cool finds. Oh, damn. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my Thor. Wow. Oh my Thor. Well, Jeff just helped Cash bust that out and um, we just found some species that we have never seen before here. Look at the eye stalks on it. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Dude. Dude. <laughs> That's oh epic. It looks like a frog. Yeah. My Thor. All right, Jeff is still over there. Cash is up there somewhere. I decided to work some more on this rock. I found a piece that was uh, pretty weathered away, but you can see the imprint of it there. And I'm just busting rocks here. And look, I found a cool little calcite geode bug. And somewhere there, there's a tiny little trilobite. You can see the imprint. I'm gonna have to look for that. It'd be cool if it was on this piece, but it looks like it fell off. I don't know if I'm gonna find it. All right, I think we're about done here. Jeff just pulled out a nice one. All right, good job, Jeff. Thank you, sir. All right, you can almost see the river now. A little bit of the fog is gone. There's that big rock I was working on over there. We are going to head out of here. Jeff and Cash are on the way down the hill there. I'm gonna head back through this cool gateway thing. And sock number two. All right, we are back at the truck packed up our stuff we're gonna check out the river here a little bit yeah that a uh, huge gray blob is the mississippi river man it is foggy today it's crazy foggy normally you can see the other side i can't even see missouri anymore you guys look around down here a little bit when we were down here last time Kyle found a good one down here. I don't know. I don't have my hammer with me, though. It's a really pretty day. For how foggy it is. It's nice and warm. And we had a great day hunting. I'm excited about some of our finds. And while you're watching the ice on the Mississippi River flow by here at high speed... 
If you like the video, consider subscribing and hit that thumbs up button. There's going to be a lot more in the future at this and other locations. And I want to say thanks again to Jeff Hunting Rocks for taking us out to this awesome location. So make sure you subscribe to Hunting Rocks. And I also want to say thank you to Asa of Missouri Fossil Hunters and Cam of Paleo 101 for helping us identify some of the trilobites we found. Thanks, guys. They were with us in a previous video at this spot, so check that out if you haven't seen it. Along with uh, Wild Kyle. He was there, too. Thanks for watching, everybody.